Okay, as I always do, I guess I should talk about how I should stand on the X-Men series, as I always do when I'm talking about a, a film which is part of a like major franchise. So, uh, I've, as I always say, this should come as no surprise, I haven't read any of the comics. Um, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, the films I actually hadn't seen, I hadn't seen a single X-Men film up until two days ago. Because uh, two days ago I got the invites to come and watch this film. Uh, today, so I was kind of like, yeah, sure, and uh, then I realized I hadn't seen a single X-Men film, so I, I guess that's, that seemed like a good as time, you know, the best time to start watching them, since obviously I want to be up to date with the storyline for when I watch this film. And so I watched all five X-Men films over the course of two days, and they just, oh, uh, I'm not a fan. These X-Men films, to, uh, for me, of course, are just painfully, painfully mediocre or average. Like, every single film is either average or just below average, with the exception of X-Men 2, which I thought was good. I, was go I would go as far as to say as I liked I would go as far as to say I liked it. Um, you know, it wasn't great, but I liked it. You know, that, that, that was an alright film. Uh, First Class is the other exception. That's actually my favourite. Although, I think this is probably because of the cast. Like, the the cast was just awesome. Like, you you got some really awesome actors there. Uh, like, Michael Fassbender, Kevin Bacon, uh, you had Rose Byrne, and James McAvoy? McAvoy? However, however you pronounce his name. The guy who played Professor X. Um, you know, you know him. He was in trance as well. Uh, but, yeah, like, the act... I think if the um, those actors weren't chosen, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed the film as much as I did. But because... Um, they had those four actors in the movie, which, you know, these are, those four actors are actors that I, I you know, I can really get into their movies, because I just really like the actors. So I guess that's the only reason I loved First Class so much. Those actors really held my interest in, into the movie. Um, so on to the Wolverine. Uh, the story of this movie, um, it takes place a few years after X-Men 3, and basically Logan is invited, invited to Japan with this really rich, rich powerful, wealthy guy. He's on the brink of death uh, because of old age, I think, or maybe it was a terminal disease, whatever. But he's he's close to death, and he basically makes a request to Logan. He asks him to t uh, protect his daughter from the Yakuza, because the Yakuza want his daughter for some reason, which you find out later on in the movie. And he promises Logan he will make him human again if he succeeds in the task. And the movie goes off from there, so you get the standard, really generic, typical superhero movie stuff going off from there. Okay, so what did I think of the Wolverine? It's average. I didn't like it, but I didn't dislike it either. It just exists. I did watch it in 3D, I, I guess I should mention. Um, they go for the immersive 3D, which is what most films go for nowadays that I'm not a fan of. But even for immersive 3D, the 3D just sucks. I'm pretty sure it was post-converted. Um, it, it certainly feels like it. I, um, I, I will be really surprised if this was shot in 3D. It definitely doesn't feel like it. Like mo for the, most of the movie, I forgot it was even in 3D. It's just everything just it looks and feels so flat. It's like, don't bother watching this in 3D. It's not worth it, not at all. Like even if you're the sort of person who's into the immersive atmospheric 3D, e even for like atmospheric 3D, this is bad. So the 3D sucks. Even like for atmospheric 3D. So, um, yeah, stay away from the 3D, don't bother. It's waste. It's a waste. Um, uh, okay, so, what, what, I don't know, like, this is, if to me, it just felt like a really standard, really, really generic, boring, just a really generic superhero movie. Um, I guess that might be a bit hypocritical for me to say that, since I enjoyed The Amazing Spider-Man, and, well, all of the Spider-Man movies, really, and, um, Th those movies are quite like you know generic stereotypical superhero movies as well so what what you know you might be thinking oh how can you say you enjoy those movies but not this one i don't know i guess it's just because i enjoy the spider-man character and the villains of that series like for x-men i just don't care about the characters wolverine like the the most interesting character to me in my opinion is professor x that's really it Ma magneto as well i guess he's he was kind of interesting uh the wolverine though i just don't care about him or Logan, whatever you want to call him. I, he's just not an interesting character to me. I don't care, like, where his character goes, whether or not he lives or dies. I don't care, you know, what, what, you know who he kills or anything like that. I, I, to me, he's just not an interesting character. So, but as opposed to Spider-Man, I'm actually into the Spider-Man character. And not to mention the villains of the Spider-Man universe are, like, awesome. Same with Batman as well. Like, the, the villains of the Spider-Man universe are awesome. 
Uh, I, like, I can't name a single villain in the X-Men universe aside from Magneto. I, I can't name any other villains at all. Uh, like, I, I, I can't remember... Kev um, oh yeah, what Deadpool, that's it. The one in uh, Origins Wolverine. Uh, yeah, th that's only because I've seen the film though, so... Um, but yeah, like, the reason, like, this is like a standard, you know, generic superhero movie, like I said, and the reason I'm not enjoying this, while on the other hand I enjoy other generic superhero movies like Spider-Man, is simply because I'm not interested in the Wolverine character. And also, um, this film didn't actually, it actually didn't have much action sequences from what I remember. There were like four from, like, from what I remember there were only four. And um, this, you know, this isn't, isn't necessarily a bad thing for a superhero movie, uh, providing you as a viewer are interested or, yeah, interested in the character, which, like I just said, I am not. So the film just bored the hell out of me. Um, if you're interested in the Wolverine character, obviously this won't be, this shouldn't be too much of a problem for you, you know, if you're interested in the character. But I wasn't, so whenever there wasn't, like, action going on, obviously I'm, I was going to be just bored or drifting off. Um, the story was actually kind of um, losing me as well. Like every now and again, I was. I, this may be partially because I, I will admit at several points in the movie I was kind of drifting off and I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of the scenes. So uh, at, at points I wasn't quite sure what was going on in the story, but um, I, I, I guess I kind of picked up on what was happening as the film progressed later on. Uh, like, I, like I don't know. Like the, the story at some points did lose me. Although th this may not be down to bad like writing, it's probably just down to me just drift drifting off every now and again in some of the scenes because I, I was just like you know losing interest very quickly. Um, the fight scenes or action scenes they are, they aren't that good for action scenes either. So even though I wasn't interested in Wolverine, I could still enjoy the action scenes had they been like you know interesting or you know, exciting or whatever. But the action scenes themselves, they weren't anything special or impressive either. Uh, the best action scene is definitely the um, the fight on top of the train. Like, it doesn't, it's not as good as something like, like this, the train fight in Spider-Man 2, but it's still pretty fun. I mean, um, if you're if you're the certain per uh, sort of person who wants realism in your fight scenes, you know, you're certainly not gonna get in this scene. It's quite ridiculous, but, um, yeah, you know, I had fun with it. I, I wasn't really looking for re realism here, so um, I was having fun with the train scene. The, the, so the train fight was fun, yeah. That, that, that was good. Um, the other fight scenes, though, I just think here, uh, like, they, they, they weren't anything special or impressive. Just whatever, you know. Um, they, no, that's not to say they were bad, they were just really standard, that's all. Uh, the villain is insanely forgettable. It's just some girl who has these, like, mutant lizard, lizard powers. Uh, well, she's... Terrible villain, like whoa! Like after a few years, I won't even be able to remember who the villain was of this movie. She she sucked. Um, not only was she just like really forgettable and bland. The, I don't know. The actress just irritated the hell out of me as well. I just couldn't stand the actress. Like she she really grated on me. So that um, when the villain is already really bland and forgettable, the fact that the actress is really annoying certainly doesn't help. Um, the climax, uh, like the final fight or the climax, whatever you want to call it, once again, nothing special, just really, really standard stuff. It's like they didn't even try to make it interesting or anything like that. It was just so, so, like, bland. I, I can't stress how bland this this movie felt to me. It, it just felt like nothing. And one thing which was really bugging me, one thing which I thought was really annoying was the dream sequences. Um, they, um, yeah, basically Logan has uh, these dream sequences like throughout the movie. There's like four or five of them where he's kind of like feeling guilty because he killed that girl back in the third movie. So he's kind of like having these dream sequences where she's lying in bed with him and they're like talking and whatnot. I don't know, they, those dream sequences just felt really, really forced to me. They just felt really out of place. Um, the acting, I don't know, nothing to say about the acting. Hugh Jackman is Hugh Jackman. He plays the character just as well as he did in the other movies. Like, he's used to the character by now because this is the sixth time he's played him. If you counted that small cameo he had in first class in the bar scene. Um, so uh, I, I guess that doesn't count. So this is like the fifth time he's played the character properly. And so he he does what he usually does. Uh, all the other characters, I guess they are okay. okay. Uh, one thing uh, which I really hated is they have several moments where 
Uh, Hugh Jackman is in like in deep trouble. He's about to get his ass kicked by you know these henchmen or the villain or whatever. And then his one of his two sidekicks come up come up at the last second to save him. It happens so many times where he's about to get killed by the villain or the villain's henchman, and then his sidekicks come up at the last second to save him. Like they they do that trick like quite uh, three or four times. Not as much as the Purge did it, but they do it quite a few times in this movie, and that was getting really irritating. I like oh my I was rolling my my eyes every time that happened. Um I guess that's really all I have to say. I, I would say um the train the fight scene on the train was like the best action the only good action scene in the whole entire movie. Uh there there was this actually this other really small, really minor thing which I was kinda like I, I was enjoying. Um about a quarter of the way through, or a third of the way through the movie, there's basically this guy running along the rooftops. He's basically the do the do uh, old man's daughter's bodyguard, from what I could tell. But he's on the rooftops with like a bow and arrow shooting the bad guys and like helping Logan out. And he's like running along these like rooftops. I just thought that was like really entertaining, just watching him do that. I could have watched that for like five minutes straight. That that was entertaining in in itself. Uh, it, that's just like really minor thing, just this random guy running along the rooftops, but that, that was fun to watch. Uh, that, that was interesting. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, like it's PG-13, so you know, like, just like in all the other movies, when Wolverine stabs people, it's just like pff, nothing. Um, so if that bugs you, um, yeah, just warning you, it's no different to the other movies. Uh, personally, I don't really care. Uh, I, 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 that didn't really bug me or anything like that. Um, like I said, the movie's just really bland to me. I, I don't really have anything else to say, that's it. It's just the throughout the whole entire movie, I was just like, whatever. I, I'm, I just don't care. Uh, the, the villain, and forgettable and annoying. I uh, don't care about Wolverine, like I said, so the whole entire movie was boring to me, aside from the one action scene which I was kind of into. Uh, I don't know, just overall, it's just okay. If you are into the Wolverine character, obviously I think you'll enjoy this movie since well, you, you like the character, so you're going to be interested in what the character does in this movie. But for someone like me who just think, you know, I don't care at all about this character, so, um, you know, the movie bored me for that reason. Uh, one last thing, um, there, there's like a, this mid uh, scene, there's a scene in the credits which you should uh, stick around for. I'm pretty sure you know this by now, like, every, everyone's like talking about this scene, so, um, you probably hear it by now, but if you haven't, stick around for the credits, uh, through the credits, because there's a scene halfway through them. And, um, it's a great, like, uh, smack in the face, I'll say that. Um, it, it basically ends on a big cliffhanger, and it's made me interested for the next movie, which is out next year, I think. But I am interested in the next movie, because of this big twist or big shock in the credits. So, the credits scene was good, it's made me interested, uh, for the next movie. Uh, that's really what I have to say. So the Wolverine, just painfully, painfully average. I, I just can't get into this character or the, the X-Men characters at all. Like I said, Professor X is the only character which I ever found interesting and uh, Magneto. That's really it. Uh, I, I think I'll leave it at that. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, see ya.